Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss serial mediation analysis using process macro in Smart PLS form. There are many models which have been suggested by Professor Hayes. So this is model one where independent variable is affecting the dependent variable and the relationship is moderated by M. I have already uploaded the video that how to carry out this analysis that is a moderation effect using smart PLS. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous lecture to understand the flow of this lecture series. Then we had also discussed model four where mediation effect is introduced. That is X is affecting Y directly and is, it is also affected through mediator. Now, we are going to discuss model 6 where two mediators are introduced x affecting y x affecting y through m1 x affecting y through m2 and x affecting y through m1 and m2 now let us see how we can carry out this analysis in smart pls so i'll activate the new project here i'll say process Create, import the data file, MG cars, open. Import, I'll press the back button and I'll create the model. I'll click on create the model. Make sure this time you select process. I'll specify here serial mediation. Save. We'll first pick up the mileage of the vehicle. The mileage of the vehicle is the dependent variable and the weight of the vehicle is independent variable. Let me drag it. Now I'll connect this that the weight of the vehicle affects the mileage of the vehicle. Now let me introduce the mediation. So two mediators we are introducing that is mileage one. And we are also introducing the another effect that is displacement. So these two are mediators. Now let me connect the arrows. Weight affecting the horsepower of the vehicle and horsepower affecting the mileage of the vehicle. Weight affecting the displacement of the vehicle and displacement affecting the mileage of the vehicle. Weight affecting the horsepower, horsepower affecting the displacement and displacement is affecting the mileage. So this is a model which we have created. So this is model number six and we want to see the effects. So how we can do this? We'll, we'll go and calculate, run the bootstrapping, start the calculations. Go in open report, click on path coefficients. Now you can see here uh, the p values have been generated. If p value is more than 0 0.05, the effects are insignificant. If p value is less than 0 0.05, the path coefficients are significant. So the effect of displacement to mileage per mileage of the vehicle is insignificant because the p value is more than 0 0.05. All others effects are significant. This we can further confirm by clicking on confidence intervals bias corrected. If zero is present in this two confidence interval, it means that effects are insignificant. If you see displacement to the mileage, negative to positive, there is a presence of zero in it. It means that this path coefficient is insignificant. Positive to positive, zero not present. It means that this path coefficient is significant negative to negative zero is not present again it means that this path coefficient is significant positive to positive zero is not present again this path coefficient is significant positive to positive zero not present so this path coefficient is significant negative to negative again this path coefficient is significant so these are all direct effects which we are getting to get the indirect effects, I will click on specific indirect effects to see the path. Now, I will get the different paths here. The first path will be specific indirect weight. Uh, let me click here. 
it is horsepower to displacement to mpg horsepower to displacement to mpg first then weight to horsepower to displacement to mpg so this is this effect weight to horsepower to displacement to mpg now we will have to see the p value of all of them the specific indirect is significant for if the p value is less than 0 0.05 so weight to horsepower to mileage is a significant part one and weight to horsepower to displacement is a significant all other indirect effects are insignificant because their p values are more than 0 0.05 moreover if you click on r square it will generate the r square of all the endogenous variables so you will get r square from here similarly r square adjusted and you can also report f square statistics from here so for more videos on smart pls kindly subscribe to my channel you can see my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of smart pls for please don't forget to press the like button you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter